2019 is almost over. I hope you had a great holiday, whatever it is that you uh, celebrate. But <clears throat> it was a great year for movies, tons and tons of movies. And this year, picking my top 10, it was a little bit more difficult than usual because there were so many good movies, so many movies that I saw and I liked. <clears throat> but this is a top 10 of my personal favorite movies. Movies that I saw and I was like, yeah, I, I dig that movie. I like where it's going. Maybe I saw them twice, whatever. Part of a, a, a trilogy or maybe a universe that I am enjoying. Uh, either way, it's my personal best, personal favorite movies of 2019. There's a few movies that I haven't seen yet that just came out uh, this week, but they don't get to make the list. So, let's see what we have. Number 10, Shazam. Shazam was a really good movie, and as far as the DC movies go in the DC universe, I'd probably say it was like number one, number two of their current uh, movies. I liked it. It, uh, it was really good. Spider-Man, Far From Home. Another movie that I liked, it was part of, of course, part of the Marvel Universe. And I don't know that it was the best of all the Spider-Man movies, but there were a lot of things in the movie that are going to connect or did connect with the known Marvel Universe. It was a bridge. It bridged a lot of information from point A to point B, and it gave you an idea of where they're going. So I kind of dug that. Number eight, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It was a good movie. It wasn't incredibly great, but it was really, really good. And it's leading into the big fight that I want to see Kong versus Godzilla. That ought to be good. That ought to be good. I'm thinking that King Kong is going to win because they always just call him Kong. And how does he get the title of King? Unless he beats the guy that's holding the crown, right? So Kong is going to beat Godzilla and then he'll be King Kong. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't know, but we'll see it together. Number seven, Brightburn. Brightburn, unfortunately, did not make the money that I thought it would have. It's an interesting take. The reverse Superman, the bad Superman, the evil Superman. Call it what you may. It's essentially the story of Superman if he were bad. In the comic books, they do a lot of that with the bad Superman. But it's kind of cool to see it in the movies. I dug this movie. Six, Ready or Not. That was a that was a good movie. It was almost a hide and seek type movie where they're chasing this woman through the entire movie. They're chasing her, trying to catch her so they can give her one of these, wipe their finger on her throat, and she's fighting back. They didn't expect that because she's a fighter. It was a good movie. Five. Number five. Dolomite is my name. There's going to be two movies on here that are Netflix properties. One of them is Dolomite and my, is my name, starring Eddie Murphy and just about every other African American actor that wasn't in The Black Panther. They're all in this movie. An incredible cast, a great movie. This is one of my personal favorites. I really like this movie and to be honest, if the other ones weren't so great, this would be definitely be higher on the list. The Irishman, the other Netflix back to back. I like this one slightly better, but it was it was really good. Um, you had the Mount Rushmore of the mob actors. You had Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, and Al Pacino. You put those three guys together in a mob movie, and that's, you know, 
that's that, that's flour and sugar. It's gonna make a cake, you know. So I like it. I like that one a lot. Four. Um, actually, three. Uh, Knives Out. Knives Out was really good. Also, I feel like I'm missing one. Knives Out was really good. Also, um, with the incredible. Uh, I forget what his name was. He said it so funny. It tickled me in the movie. Uh, Benoit something or other. But Daniel Craig plays the last of the English, the great English detectives who has a really thick southern draw. He sounds, he sounds like this when he talks. He sounds like he's a southern gentleman. Then his name is French. They never really explain that. It was interesting. It was one of the things that made me look at the movie. I was like, hmm, go on. It was interesting. I, I enjoyed the movie. It was a murder mystery. And it actually had me bouncing around from person to person trying to figure out who it was. It was a whodunit. Uh, number two. Number one and number two is probably going to be the same on pretty much everybody's list. But it's just a, a matter of this one, number one on your list, and it's number two, number two on your list. For me, number two is The Joker. Joaquin Phoenix, I think, gave one of the greatest performances of the entire year. And though I am a huge comic book guy, I think that this movie was more about his acting. I mean, I enjoyed the fact we're looking at the Joker. Where does the Joker start? How did he become crazy? What's up with him? What's going on with that crazy laugh? You know, but the portrayal of the Joker was probably almost as powerful as the Joker's mythos. I really, really enjoyed this movie. And now I hear that they're considering making this part of the DC Universe, or at least DC Dark. And they're considering a sequel, which would be great. They could introduce another villain. That would be cool. Or maybe the Joker influenced that person, the Penguin or the Riddler or Two-Face, to become a bad guy. I don't think they really need Batman at this point. It's a good movie. And the number one movie, I'm sure you know, the number one movie on the entire planet, anywhere where they have movies, this one is number one. Avengers Endgame. The greatest movie of all time because of box office sales. I'm not saying the best acted movie. I'm not saying that, you know, it was the best, you know, cinematically great movie but when you're making a movie and you want to sell it you want butts in the seats this movie put more butts in the seats than any movie in the history of movies and i was one of them i mean i only saw it five or six times but it was great now that's at the theater that's not watching it at home i've seen it at least another three four five times when cat picks up thor's hammer and oh, that's good. That's good stuff. It's the it's the end game of these ten years. They took their time and made a cinematic universe. You know, teaching everybody else, Monster Universe, the Giant Monster Universe, DC Universe. Everybody else is following suit. It can be done. You can put a ton of heroes on a screen. You can put a ton of actors on a screen. You can connect movies and make them all jive. My favorite movie. It's in, for me personally, it's in my top, not just for this year, it's in my top five of my favorite movies of all time. Again, I'm a comic book guy, but that's my list. Did you have some that you would have added to the list? Did you have some that you would have taken off this list? Were some of them in a different order than you would have put in? Let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, if you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe and then like.